Now, the Julius Aburi led National Working Committee of the Labour Party has maintained that Senator Ethan Achonu remains the authentic candidate for the November 11 governorship election in Imo State. This comes in the light of the constant statements by the factional National Publicity Secretary of Labour Party, Abayo Merabambi, denouncing Achonu's candidacy as having no legal basis, as according to him, the Lamidia Papa faction of the party remains the authentic leadership of the Labour Party at the national level. But the LP governorship candidate, Senator Ethan Achonu, uh, fired back at Arabambi, describing him as allegedly being sponsored by the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC in Imo State, to cause disunity in the uh, Labour Party. Achonu maintains that his candidacy is on course and that there is no court judgment that has barred him from contesting the election while countering Arabambi's recent media statements. So what exactly is going on in the Imo State chapter of the Labour Party and what's the legal status of the candidate? Well, joining us in the studio now is a lawyer and member of the uh, APC National Legal Team. Labor. Uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> Labour National <laughs> Legal Team, so to say. Uh, Okudili Anose. Thank you so much, uh, Okudili, for joining us. Yes. Yeah, and what exactly is happening uh, in the Labour Party uh, at the uh, national level that's translating into the state level that you see the factional uh, publicity secretary uh, saying that uh, the legal status of Senator Ethan Achon is not uh, fully known, uh, that he's not the rightful candidate because he subscribes to the Julius Aburi uh, quote faction of the uh, Labour Party and not uh, La Media Papa. What do you make of that? Mm, thank you very much, Mr. Sambo. Uh, as it is, it's so unfortunate that um, such lies are being peddled at the public fora. As of today, regarding, regarding the Senator Atana Chonu's candidature, as of today, Senator Atana Chonu is the Labour Party candidate for the Imo State gubernatorial elections fixed for November 2023. His name is the name with INEC. His name has been submitted. His name has been published by INEC. As of today, Senator Atan Achonu is the only person that has a valid judgment of the court. The Federal High Court had proclaimed that Senator Atan Achonu is the candidate of Labour Party. That judgment is unappealed and is still subsisting. Well, uh, Arabami says there's an appeal at the Court of there Appeal is, and then okay, okay. there's also another one that's okay. heading okay. to the you, Supreme you Court see, and all of see, that. The, what do you make of yes, all those? Yes, it's all being jumbled up. I'm just telling you about this one now with regards to his candidature. There is another case that is now at the Supreme Court. It started from the Federal High Court, um, Oware, where a judgment was given by where a factional uh, a, 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 a party whose election was organized by the state congress went to court. Atana Chonu wasn't even sued in that matter. He's not a party, He's not to, a party to that procedure okay. at all. The judgment would not affect him in any way. So the, a judgment was given telling that party that he had no local standard to go on with the proceeding. That was a judgment. But some people, I, I don't know how, how they manage, how the, their conception running so wild. As of today, Labour Party has actually uh, forwarded a petition against a lawyer who came to the public, I think it was uh, on one of these uh, media programs, and gave a false um, uh, statement of the judgment of a court as high as the Court of Appeal. So what we have here is just distortion of facts. What is happening at the Supreme Court now is a case of that person whose party, whose uh, primaries was purportedly organized by a state congress. He's now in the court of he's now in the um, uh, Supreme Court. He, he was at the Federal High Court. The Federal High Court said he had, it had no local standing. He was at the um, Court, of, uh, court of, appeal. of Appeal. The Court of Appeal said he had no local standing. He, he went to, he's now at the court of, um, uh, Supreme Court. That is where the matter is. That case, Atana Chon is not even a party. Well, the La Media Papa faction disagrees. It no, no, it's uh, not about disagreement. This is not <laughs> an issue of agreement. This is an issue yeah. of fact. And you know, interestingly, it's because we're here. Do you know it is a criminal offense to peddle false information under the Criminal Act? Yeah, and, it's, uh, it's a, and, 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 and I guess the Labour, Labour Party would take would have to take action because this idea of peddling falsehoods in such magnitude i, I mean it's it's uh, it's 
it's uh, flabbergasting. I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have imagined it's possible. Well, isn't uh, it because uh, the party itself is not settled? I mean, there no. are lots of factions. No. You are one of no, those no. at the uh, uh, national level. You are part of the legal team. Talk to us about what exactly needs to be done to settle this issue. No, no, there's no. Let me just give you the legal perspective. As at today, as at today, the uh, judgment we have. The highest court that has given judgment on the legal tussle of Labour Party is the Court of Appeal Benin. And that Court of Appeal Benin said that Abure remains the chairman. That's Julius Abure. Julius Abure, yes. Mm -hmm. Remains the chairman. That is the highest court. If the matter has proceeded to the Court of uh, to the Supreme Court, we are yet to hear. But as of today, the highest court has given and I mean laws are meant to be obeyed until set aside. And that's the camp that Ethan Achono belongs that, to. That, that, it is not even an issue of camp. You see, if your Ethan Achono's case is not an issue of camp, it's an issue of the candidacy of Labour Party for the most state gubernatorial election. And that's how today, that's what I've told you. Ethan Achono's name has been submitted and nobody has challenged him. The only person was uh, Chief Ukebu, who challenged him at the Federal High Court. Federal High Court, oh, oh, he didn't even challenge him. He didn't uh, uh, sue Atan. He didn't join Atan as a party. But when Atan became aware of it and applied to join, he ran away. That case was withdrawn yesterday or two days ago. It was withdrawn. They ran away. That okay. is the only case that sought to put any other person apart from the one that is in the Supreme Court now. Okay, let's talk about uh, the accusation that uh, uh, Achonu himself is making, that the All Progressives Congress seems to be afraid uh, in the most state of his uh, <laughs> uh. candidature, and they're actually uh, pushing all these people around, including supporting factions uh, of, of the uh. party and all of that, but that that will not stop him uh, from going ahead with his campaign and that his legal status remains uh, without encumbrances. Talk to me about that. Uh, I'll talk to you about the legal status. And he's right. There is no encumbrance whatsoever. The, but with regards to the politicization of it, coming from a, 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 I'm a lawyer. He's <laughs> 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 not in court yet. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, when, when it comes to these issues during election, you see political parties here and there hitting at themselves. Uh, what makes you think that it, uh, uh, makes the Labour Party candidate to stand out that could actually make other political parties to want to be hitting hard uh, either openly or through other means? Uh, I, I guess because the other political parties are afraid of the candidate of Sedan Tartan or Chodo, they feel he has the capacity to take Imo back and bring Imo at the pedestal of good governance. I think that is why he's uh, going all through all these um, um, subterfuge legal proceedings. Uh, if I, 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 it's obvious that is why uh, all this is happening. But I, as he said, he will emerge supreme. How he's much? How much is a uh, is a distraction uh, for 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 him? As you know, all these court cases come left, right, and center. How much of a distraction are those court cases to him? No, no. I, I must say the court cases have not impeded his uh, political activity in any way. He has a good legal team, and he's being attended to. Um, Interestingly, in one of the cases where the legal team tried to join and the court refused, the court of appeal refused, uh, and the matter was appealed, uh, the legal team appealed, and while the appeal was going on, the court of appeal gave judgment, dismissing that particular case against the appellant, and of course the legal team went to the Supreme Court and uh, withdrew the appeal because there was no need. Uh, there was no need at that point where the legal team wanted to join in the matter. The matter had already been decided upon and it was even in decided in his favor because the person that wanted to be the Labour Party candidate was described as not having a local standard that the matter was dismissed. And interestingly, do you know that it was this judgment that someone called me and said that they had now transcribed to mean that it meant that a town's candidate has been has in any way been dented. Meanwhile, our time candidate was not an issue at all in that judgment. It was not. So actually, I've, I've, um, we've advised the Labour Party, these are issues of peddling false uh, falsehoods, and these are criminal 
matters and they should be dealt with as what they are. Okay, and so what will you now say to this um, uh, factional national publicity secretary uh, who insists that uh, the Lamedia Papa faction controls the party and they do not in any way recognize uh, Arthur Nachono? Because, I mean, if you don't recognize him, I mean, these people will continue to talk and it will continue to affect uh, his uh, potentials. Interestingly, the only authority that has the capacity and has the uh, authority and the legislative backing to recognize the leadership of political parties is the Independent National Electoral Commission. And who do they recognize? Abure. So if some other person sitting somewhere in his house decides that he will not recognize what is legitimate, that's the person's business. It doesn't, it doesn't impugn on the legality of what is actually the factual situation. And no room for reconciliation, both at the national and local levels? <sighs> well, the politicians <laughs> will deal with that. <laughs> All right, well, you, you also said you're a member of the Labour Party. What are the chances No, no, no of I'm a member of the Labour Party legal team. Le uh, Labour Liga Party legal, legal team. team yes. Oh, okay. So, well, whatever it is, you're still in yeah, the know. Yes. So, what are the chances of the Labour Party, for example, in the Imo State governorship election in November yes. 11, considering how Samuel Anyang, who is there in the PDP, strong candidate too, and then you have Governor Hope Uzodima, stronger candidate with uh, incumbency factors here and there, and you have Ethan Achono, who is also a very strong candidate with great potentials. But... Putting all of these parties as, uh, you know, side by side, including some other uh, political parties, uh, people would want to say that Labour Party looks like a third force in Imo State. What are its chances? I feel Labour Party, which identifies with the people. You know, democracy is all about the people. And that identity with the people remains sacrosanct, and that is the most important thing. I feel Labour Party has been able to identify with the people, and the will of the people will prevail no matter all the supposed obstacles. Uh, I mean, it's happened before. It will certainly happen again in the Imo State. We've seen a rise in violence in Imo State, and people were saying that the, the election day in that state may be very chaotic, and people may not come out, there may be voter apathy. Uh, what's uh, the Labour Party doing uh, generally to ensure that uh, those who support it are non-violent, and then, of course, that security forces uh, you know, create a conducive environment for all political parties, their supporters, to go out and exercise their voting franchise? Uh, uh, certainly the violence is not coming from within the Labour Party, for one. And the Labour Party candidate, uh, Senator Atana Chonu, had actually called on the security forces, uh, the military, the police, DSS, and also told them that they should step in so that this state will not could lead to a breakdown of law and order in any part yeah, of the world. Coincidentally, they've been victims too. I mean, just during the week, we saw uh, uh, members uh, of the security forces being killed. Uh, uh, yes, and, 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 and uh, as Senator Chanu said, he feels it's a political move. So, um, Which the state government has denied, yes, saying that uh, he was politicizing a uh, yeah. uh, security situation. Uh, yes, and, but the main thing is that it's, it's also a, a call on the security forces to make sure that whoever and whatever is causing this is stemmed so that the election will be peaceful. And what do you have to say to voters? Because, I mean, if I had wanted to go out there and vote but, but, myself, no, no, voters, with this kind of uh, situation no, no, becoming uh, chaotic uh, daily, it, it, I mean, uh, you'll have a second thought. No, no, but it's always um, in, in our, the election cycle in Nigeria. We also see the violence happens before, but never during the election, most times. So what so, do you say to so voters? Uh, voters should feel free to go and vote. I believe that the government would uh, provide enough security for them. Yeah, and yes. the campaign grounds too. I mean, I've been seeing your candidates and that of others going around. Do you think that uh, it, the campaign grounds have been very free, fair, uh, the a conducive environment, you know, being provided for all candidates to go out there and seek for votes? So far for the Labour Party, there has been no complaint. Okay. Yes. That's a very important way yes. to actually conclude yes. this conversation. Thank you very must much. Thank you so much. Okudili Anoze is a member of the Labour Party legal team, and uh, we must thank you immensely for helping us to understand the issues, especially the controversial status of uh, Senator Athan Achono, yes. which uh, 
coincidentally, the opposition is actually coming from within the same political party. Yes. But you have said that uh, his I've said what the position is not in doubt. Yes, yes. Okay, we must thank yes. you so much.